YouTube kick. I just want to go ahead and hop right into this story. You saw the title. You saw what it was. Black women acting weird with kids. <sighs> you know, we're just going to hop right into the video. I'm going to go ahead and get my commentary here in a second. So <clears throat> just watch the video. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, see, let me fix this right quick. Let's uh, just make this just me. We'll save that for later. Okay, so let's talk about it. So first thing we're seeing here is a black woman dancing on a child. I don't know how old the black girl is. Let's just say for sake of argument, she's 18 years old. See, what happens with our young black men, and this is what I'd be saying about young men in general, so I ain't trying to make it young black. It's the same thing I see with somebody, and it's the things I hate about the Hodge twins sometimes, not gonna lie to you. <clears throat> because I think, I think people like, and I think, understand comedians are this way, but I think Hodge twins and other people like them, um, and I'm not saying everything they say is bad. I just think that they're kind of misguided. Um, but they always like to make jokes about everything. But I think sometimes it still does get miscon mis there's a misconception. I wouldn't say I hate it about the Hodge twins. I just say I want to point it out. Let me jerk out my wording right there. Every time we see a young man with an older woman getting danced on, or we hear about a story of a teacher um, um, assaulting a young child, having sex with a young minor, um, and especially if it's a woman, what we tend to do with our young men is be like, well, that's just, man, thank God, man. I wish I was that young and doing that kind of stuff. They don't understand. They think that young men, when they do sexual things with older women as minors, that it doesn't mess them up. They don't think that it, it has any effect on them. Just like a young girl doing something with an older guy. See, they think that only young girls are going to have mental problems. They don't think guys will. But I can tell you from experience. And I'm sure you know people like this. Okay? I, I know a young man who took his life for this kind of stuff. Because when 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 adult does stuff to a child, especially when they're young, and start making them sexual way before they need to be, they start to grow up that kind of way. So they start getting invo involved in pornography. They start becoming sex addicts because even from a young age, they had older people shaking their butt on their genitals, not knowing what to do with that. We talked about this yesterday when we were talking about the, the woman, the young black mom who was shaking her booty on her own son. We use kids today as a sex prop, and especially when it comes to young black kids. And then we wonder why they end up getting into their 16 and 17 and act like absolute hooligans. We see young black teenagers beating up people, doing riots, setting fires, having sex with everybody, doing all these sexual things. You wonder how you get the Antonio Browns of the world. And you wonder why these, these men can't control themselves because we don't do anything to teach them. Instead of the black men at that party going, hey, 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 whoa, 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 get, get up off him. Instead of doing that with young children, we are watching a minor as grown men. These are grown men in this video watching a minor get have a woman shake her booty on him we're watching a young kid do a sexual act and black men don't see a problem with that and they wonder why the, our young men the way they are and people really think that putting men in sexual stuff like this makes them better if that was the case if that was truly the case that men being young men being 13 12 10 11 or being more sexually um active makes them more of a man to tell me why today number one more men are looking at way more pornography and having way less sex more men are have what looking at way more pornography and have way less relationships with women more men are looking at way more porn and are committing and taking their lives at a staggering rate more men are looking at porn and more men are depressed more men are looking at porn and more men are are, are lonely more men are looking at porn and more men are spending money on only models more men are lonely and more men are more likely to invest in AI girlfriends. 
More men look at porn. More men are failing. More men are getting less jobs. There are more more teenagers today, more teenage men that don't have jobs today, more teenage men who don't drive, more teenage men who don't even leave their parents' house. Men are leaving their parents' house at a l way. The number is climbing. Men are leaving. I think the, the number's gone up, what, 20% of more men who stay with their parents longer now? More men are having less jobs in their teenage years? More men are driving less, more men have less relationships, less sex, more depressed, and committing suicide way higher. So tell me, if we see stuff like this, if we see stuff like this, you telling me, where, where are men getting ahead? Where, where, where are men getting ahead? Where are men getting ahead? If it's such a joke to you, why are black kids getting killed on the streets way far more often? Why are black kids having such a low literacy rate? Why do black men they near contribute to the majority of murders in our our country. Is this, is, is, this, is this how we're teaching them? Instead of teaching that young man, hey, we shouldn't be doing that stuff, we're over here shaking our booties at parties, and I know this is just some random ghetto party, but this ain't a random occurrence. It's not. I know this for a fact. I was a young black man growing up. I had black women who hit on me and my, little, my younger brother because it, it, it was looked upon highly then, and that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, me and my young brother got hit on. I was 11. My brother was 10. We had a younger black woman in her 30s hitting on me and my younger brother. It's not that it's not that it's not as uh, uncommon as you think as black people. It is not because we are not seen the same because black people in some cases. And this is not just a black person thing, but we're going to stick on this because these two happen to be black. It is not a norm. It is so common for black people to be just wild. I'm not even like wild in every form, gunplay, sex, crime, rioting, trying to get uh, media attention. We just don't, it's like we don't even know how to act and it, it doesn't surprise me. Because like I said, once again, our literacy rate is so low. I'm surprised we, we almost act like animals. And I, I hate saying that. I'm not saying black people are bad things, but what we, what we have allowed to happen to our black brothers and sisters is an absolute atrocity. An absolute atrocity. It's funny because when I was growing up, I grew up around more white people than I did blacks. And I got made fun of all the time for the way I talk because I talk so proper and all this kind of stuff. And they didn't know that when I went to an all white school, white kids made fun of me because they said I talked too black. So I was right in between. It didn't even matter. But at the same time, at the very same time, growing up in an all white neighborhood, at least a little bit more affluent, I, I didn't run across this kind of stuff. My parents, when we had family reunions, there was no booty shaking on the kids. It was none of that. It was none of that. I am very fortunate to grow up the way I have. But is this abnormal in the hood? No. Is this abnormal in predominantly black neighborhoods, especially if they're poverty, in poverty? No. Because what they will have us believe is that us black people are always oppressed. We're always at the bottom. We can't make it. We can't do anything. And it doesn't help that the vast majority of black kids are born in single mother homes. And they have this narrative that black men and black fathers are just absent from the home. That black men just leave. And there was even a statistic that came up on Twitter uh, saying they got fact checked, saying that most black kids grow up without black fathers. And the, the article was trying to say is that it's not a true narrative. But they went and fact checked and said it is a true narrative. Well, it's not. We said a narrative, not that it's not a fact. It's the fact is, it's not that black men are walking away. The vast majority of our kids are born out of wedlock. A lot of black women tend to have sex with the same black men. A lot of us black men, I think 54% of black men are childless, single and childless. So that means the majority of black men do not even have kids. So to say that every one of us walk out on our kids is not even true. And then 54% are single and childless and 30% of us are married. So to say that we're all just out here just having sex with every black woman we see and having babies, it's just not true. But there's so many, the society has brought it to a point where we celebrate somebody being a single mom. I, we watch the NBA draft. What do they always talk about when it comes to these black kids? I'm going to take care of my mom. And me and my mom are going to get out the hood. I barely ever hear about fathers. And when you do hear about a black father, it's like a miracle. It's like, wow, a black father in the household. And then you get all these TV shows talking about how black men ain't this. And then you get talk about shows about like, oh, well, you know what? It's the reason us black women are the way we are is because we decided to put up with less BS. Black couples used to be together far more during segregation than they are now. Back when there was way more racism, black families stood together because they knew they needed each other. And now that there's less racism and black women can do whatever they want and black men can do whatever they want, we decided, oh, you know what? Black black women need to put up with less because you know what was happening back then? Black men were beating women at a 
eighty percent rate. That's not even true. They want us to hate each other, guys. Don't y'all get that? The society and the media is gonna have us black people hate each other. And every time you get a black person who wants to speak up, such as myself, such as Hodge twins, and I'm not nearly as big as any of those kind of guys. But even you get Hodge twins, you get Candace Owen, you get you get the other black conservatives in the world, like uh, Officer Tatum. I'm naming the big people that y'all know. Anytime we speak up about this kind of stuff, we get told, oh, we just don't like black women or we just don't like the black community. But we have to speak up because if we don't, I mean, eventually the black community is going to become a disgrace. We murder people at such a high rate. We have single motherhood and black women are celebrated for being black and single. And I, I grew up in a, I said, I grew up in a white neighborhood mainly. If you were a single white mom when I was growing up, that was a disgrace. It was not looked upon as, wow, a single white mom? No, when we saw single mothers when I was growing up, it was not looked up on highly upon. It was like, what happened? But when it's a black community, it's a single mom. It's like, good on you, girl. Good job. Good job you being a single black mother. You don't need no man. It's like, that's so stupid. Why would you go out of your way to be a single black mom? Just to get praise from other black poor women? Because this, this concept that black women are like making $100,000 a year, they make less than black men. So what are we talking about? We're, we're acting like black women are just excelling. Just because they go to college does not mean they make more money. They go to college at a higher rate, but they're, that does not make them more successful in the job force. It doesn't. But society has fooled us black people into believing this. And then we go vote crazy, right? Because all we ever want to talk about is racism. And I, you know what? And I talk to, I've talked to a lot of black people. A lot of these black people, they don't really believe that America's racist. They don't. A lot of them may say that kind of stuff, make themselves feel better. But the vast majority of them that I talk to, they're the ones that would, you would see be called more ghetto, more hood. They're not, they don't really think America's racist. They just feel entitled. They just feel like they can get it all. A woman can be as fat as me and get whatever man she wants. It's just crazy. They get, I, I met a girl way bigger than me. And she acted like she was a 10. She acted like she was the best thing on earth. Are y'all trying to understand? It's just a confusing thing in our black culture. Everybody thinks they're a 10. Then you got black men over here. We always act like we gangbang, like John Moran. Even of us, even us black men who don't gangbang, we feel like we got to talk about guns. Y'all hear me freestyle. Even I talk about guns. I normally do it as a joke because I find it funny. But at the same time, like even that is inherently in me to say something about a gun that I ain't never held in my life. I ain't never gangbang. I don't throw up gang signs. I don't do all that. I ain't from the hood. But in our, even our black men feel like that our black, our young black men, our black children are us. Because we can be sexually deviant and have sex with anything or anything or everything that walks around. If we want to have sex with anything, right? And we feel like we got to go gangbang. And if somebody says the N-word to us, we ready to fight. And then what do we get? We get our young black men dancing on adult women, checking their booties, and we don't even care. We like to look at our young men. I think it's, I just find it gross that we look at our young men as like a sex object. I would never look at a young boy, watch him possibly getting sexually aroused from a black woman and think that's okay. That is sick and disgusting. But see, the black people aren't looked up on the same. We don't look at ourselves the same. There are black pedophiles out there, in case you don't know, but for some reason in our community, we just look right past that stuff. We're, we're more likely to look over a black pedophile before we say something. Maybe in the times we do get involved, every time we see a black man stand up for his black daughter or a black son because of a pedophile, they always end up beating the man to death. Never police get involved, none of that. It's always beat them to the ground. And then we're like, exactly. I understand that people don't like pedophiles and that they want them to go to jail and prison, but at the same time, more of our black men are going to jail for beating a guy to death off an of accusation and then going to prison for 10 years. Even if we have proof that it may, may have happened, it's so hard to get that stuff in court if the only thing you do is immediately beat the person to death and then the cop gets, cops get called because the kid was murdered. Or we, we put a video on YouTube or uh, World Hip Hop and show ourselves beating the guy down because he was a pedophile. It's just like, that's not the way we want to go about it, guys. That's not the way we should always go about it. We need to start teaching our young men also and our young daughters also. Don't ever let yourself be in a sex object. If you see a man uh, telling another young man to go do something sexually with a woman, like if you even hear a young black man, and when I'm saying young guys, I'm talking about teenagers or lower than that. If you see a young 12-year-old black kid saying something sexually to a black girl, we need to get up on that. And if they're saying it to a black woman, 
you need to get on that and be like, that is inappropriate. You don't talk to a black woman like that. And if a black woman is to say something about your black kid, you say, hey, that is inappropriate. You will not talk to my son that way. That is absolutely disgusting. You will not talk to him in a sexual manner or anything. Because, you know, when me and my brother went through that same thing, nobody stood up for me and my brother. And guess what we turned out to be? I'm not going to speak on my brother, but you know what I turned out to be? An absolute sex porn addict. Because I had little, I had older women hitting on me when I was a child. And I just grew up just sexually active, man. Disgusting. And my sexual past is not a good one, okay? Not a good one. It's not something I'm like, yay! It's, it's an absolute dark, disgusting place that I put myself in. And I've been struggling for years to get out of that. And it's take, I have to go through therapy. I have to go to, I have to do this every week. I have to tell somebody what, what I've seen or what I've done or how I'm doing. I've been doing it every week for over a year now. And before then, I was in therapy and counseling because it's, nobody stood up for me when I was a kid. When black women were saying these disgusting things to me as a child, nobody stood up for me then. Nobody stood up for my brother. And we struggled to put our minds back together. He struggled in a different way than I did. But we both struggled in our own way. And now we're finally getting our lives back together. He's a father. I'm a father. But here we are now trying to put our lives back together. At our ages of 30, that's insane. Because in our 20s, we just acted out on these bad behaviors. I know this was a long video. And I did a little bit of ranting, but let me know what y'all think. Yeah, do you, what are we going to do for our young black men? Are we just going to let this chaos and just ensue and just ruin everything that we've done? Or are we going to start standing up for the black community and start speaking highly of our brothers and talk? Let's talk about less about being invited to a stupid cookout. And let's start talking about and being invited to business meeting. Let's start talking about being invited to organization. Let's talk about being invited to the town council meeting. I don't want to be invited to no dang cookout. I want to be invited. I don't want to be invited to a pool party in L.A., Another pool party. No, let's let's talk about other stuff. Let's talk about building a community, not shaking our butt cheeks and twerking and everywhere. Juneteenth was an absolute disgrace, and it has been for years, and will continue to be if we don't learn to start talking for real to our black people. I'm not saying we have to put each other down, but dang it, it's just at a point where we gotta grow up. I'm tired. Of, we, we're tired. Of, I'm tired of being talked to like I'm a child, and I know you black people are tired of being talked to like a child. Y'all aren't children anymore. Y'all are adults and we are adults. Let's do something for our black community and let's make the people who made our society what it is today. Let's make them proud because this is absolutely disgusting.